We're now seeing the moment New Mexico State Police questioned Janine Jaramillo. She's a woman accused of driving the wrong way down I-25 and causing the crash that killed a Santa Fe police officer and a retired firefighter. News 13's Stephanie Chavez shows us that interview. I'm not okay. I'm so scared. I'm, I can't stop shaking. I'm afraid for my life. Janine Hadamio is telling officers an elaborate story about what happened before that deadly wrong way chase on I-25. Hadamio is accused of driving the wrong way down I-25 back in March, causing the crash that killed Santa Fe police officer Robert Duran and retired firefighter Frank Lovato. When Jaramillo was questioned, she told state police she had been kidnapped by her boyfriend, Mark Lopez. He was going to stab me in my chest with a knife and I don't know, I don't know why. She tells them the two spent the night together in Santa Fe. The morning of the crash, she explains he became angry because she'd asked him to take her back home to Albuquerque. He told me, you're not going home, you're going to stay here and you're going to and I said, no, I can't, I can't have to be with my kids. And Jaramillo says the man was punching her and threatening to kill her, at one point pouring gasoline on her, saying he'd light her on fire. She says he then forced her into the car at knife point. I don't know what made him want to do this to me. I mean, just because I wanted to go home. When officers leave the room, Jaramillo continues the act, crying and praying. Please, God, please help me. But when they return to the hours-long interview, they start to notice inconsistencies with her story. They saw it in the hospital. Can you point to where? So I can turn to it. And I'm sitting next to the clothes that you were wearing when he did that. I don't smell any gasoline. Oh. They start questioning Jaramillo about the man she said kidnapped her. We talked to that Mark Lopez, and he's been at work all day with his wife and family after work. The two officers ask Jaramillo to be honest before revealing to her what they know. Jaramillo was not kidnapped. She was the only one in the car. There's cameras all in that area, traffic cameras. There were witnesses on there. Mm -hmm. Cameras at the apartment complex. There's cameras at the gas station. We have all of that. But I, 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 I think, and this is just me, that you're the only person in the car when I wrecked. And just be honest. I wasn't the only person. Okay. Hadamio refused to give up on her story. She was released after that interview, but arrested a few days later. She's now charged with the deaths she tried to pin on a man police say was never there. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. Jaramillo is now facing several charges, in fact, including two counts of first-degree murder.